The end of Cynthia is finally here. You heard me right. For 15 years, Cynthia has been shown to be untouchable, unstoppable, unbeatable in the Pokemon anime. We've never seen her lose a single battle. We've never seen her being any lower than the very top of the pedestal. But now, Cynthia's reign will come to an end. The final part of Ash vs. Cynthia airs this Friday, and it is absolutely destined for greatness. Look, we all know that Ash is gonna end up defeating Cynthia, but because the entire story of Pokemon Journeys is that Ash wants to challenge Leon, which obviously he can't do if he loses to Cynthia. And Ashy Boy is so close to beating her. So, so, so close. Ash and his Mega Lucario just have to take down Cynthia's Dynamax Togekiss and then Cynthia's Garchomp in order to win the battle. And we all know that is not gonna be a very easy fight to win, but Lucario is literally known as the Gigantamax Slayer in the community. Lucario easily took down B's Gigantamax Machamp and Raihan's Gigantamax Duraludon. So taking down Gigantamax Togekiss, a Pokemon who isn't even Cynthia's ace, and a Pokemon who he can deal huge damage to with his Steel-type moves, I think Lucario can easily manage to defeat Togekiss. And then Cynthia's Garchomp. Look, we all know Garchomp is almost untouchable, man. She is literally Cynthia's strongest Pokemon ever. This land shark gave us absolute nightmares when we were kids, but Garchomp is already weak and injured from the damage that Surfetched dealt to her earlier in the battle. So like I said, Garchomp is already pretty exhausted, and for some reason, Garchomp only knows Dragon-type damaging moves, and Lucario is resistant to Dragon-type moves. So once once again, although I'm certain the battle will be a challenge for Lucario, it really just seems absolutely obvious that Lucario is destined to win it and defeat Cynthia. He has every advantage in the world against not only Dynamax Togekiss, but also against Cynthia's Garchomp. I mean, Garchomp doesn't even have any ground-type moves for some reason. So yeah, from the type advantage, to the more diverse moveset, to the Mega Evolution, Lucario really has so many advantages. And probably more important than all of those, Lucario has Aura. Lucario's Aura is genuinely unstoppable, dude. I truly believe that. Lucario basically one-shotted Raihan's Gigantamax Ace when he fully charged up his Aura and Lucario has grown even stronger since then. So I absolutely believe Lucario will charge up all of his aura and do one massive attack, absolutely destroying Cynthia's Pokemon. Aura is Lucario's greatest weapon, his greatest power, and there is no way in my opinion that Lucario's exhausted Garchomp would ever be able to counter that. So I guess that's it for Cynthia. Cynthia will lose to Ash Ketchum this Friday, marking the end of her unstoppable reign, a reign that she has held on to for almost two decades. Who would have thought this 10-year-old kid from Pallet Town, the kid who so many fans have slandered for decades, would be the chosen one to take down the most popular and most beloved champion of the entire series? This really is the end of Cynthia. Let me know your hopes and expectations for Ash vs. Cynthia in the comments below. I bet a lot of you have a lot of thoughts to share. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this discussion, and be sure to subscribe too if you want to see more Pokemon content. It would genuinely mean a lot to me. We've been doing a lot of live streaming on Twitch lately, so I'll leave the link to my Twitch channel in the pinned comment and the video description. If you want to see me failing playing any kind of games, then feel free to check it out. Now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.